Hi guys, today I will share upon you guys how to buy an air conditioning unit in a smart and clean manner. Okay, it's a simple steps. Okay, step number one. Okay, choose a con capacity that suits your room or space. In this case, you must already calculate the cooling load for your room or space, and then you have decided where you want to put the aircon. Okay, then you choose the cooling capacity that suits your room. Okay, further cooling load calculation will be discussed on the next video. So stay tuned. Okay, then when you go to the retail shop, okay, the shop that uh, sell aircon. You have select. You have to select one torch power, torch power, or two power, power accordingly. Okay, that suit is your room. That is depend on aircon manufacturer specification. Okay. Step number two. Uh, let's say you decided to buy one torch power. Okay, let's say your room suit for one torch power aircon. Okay, at the aircon shop, please ask the aircon seller or the mass that the manufacturer aircon rated cooling capacity. And rated electrical power consumption, okay, for multiple aircon. Let's say you go there at the aircon retail shop, okay. The seller recommend you to buy, to buy this type of air condition, okay. Within within the three brand, lah, okay. This one is example Daikin, Mitsubishi, Panasonic, higher and etc. etc. Okay. Then when you want to choose it, please take. The manufacturer aircon rate cooling capacity, cooling capacity, and rated electrical power consumption. Ask the seller for this data. Okay. There also will be extra advantages if you can get aircon technical data sheet from them. Okay. Then, for example, you can see at these pictures. Okay, at this spec and model name. For example, this is non type of non inverter type air condition. Okay, split unit for cost split unit. Okay, so this is mentioned the data rated cooling capacity, usually in BTU per hour. Okay, this one they mentioned of the for one hundred power aircon, the rated cooling capacity BTU per hour is nine thousand five hundred BTU per hour. Okay, while the rated power consumption in watt is a eight hundred and forty. Okay, this kind this is a spec for this one type of aircon. So please compare the other type of aircon as well for the four one hundred power aircon. Okay, step number three, you have to calculate the EER, the most important thing. There is an energy efficient rating. Okay. From the both information given, okay, the one that you got the uh, cooling rating, and also the power consumption. Okay, now from that one you can calculate the EER rating. So the formula is. ER rating equal to rated cooling capacity BTU per hour over divided by rated power consumption in watt. Okay, so you can refer to the previous specification example. That is, the cooling capacity rate is nine thousand five hundred BTU hour divided that divided by eight hundred and forty watt equal to eleven point thirty ER rating. Remember that, <coughs> and then that one example for one aircon. Okay, let's say you have the seller recommend you three type of aircon, then you are easy minded. You have to go there and you have to make a make a simple calculation for the ER for those three aircon. Okay, then you compare the ER rating from all the other brand manufacturer. For example, you name it uh, ER aircon one, ER aircon B. Sorry, ER Econ A, ER Econ B, and ER Econ C. Okay, the tip is the higher ER value is the better. Okay, then you compare the price for Econ A. Okay, for example, Econ A you calculate ER is not efficient. Econ B you calculate the less efficient, while Econ C you calculate is most efficient. Okay, based on the ER calculation. Okay. So this is the example. Still, state number three. This is the example. Okay, as you can see, uh, we are Malaysia. We have the Suranjaya Tenaga, the one that control the uh, policy of electricity in Malaysia. Okay, so the XT purpose that MEPS value is at two star for both ranges. Okay, we have two ranges here. 
Okay. Uh, the one with the the table here uh, at the top is the rated coupling capacity below then 4.5 kilowatt. While uh, at the bottom is the 4.5 kilowatt and above but below to 7.5 kilowatt. This is for unitary aircon. For example, like split unit aircon. Okay. So what is the meaning of MEPS? MEPS means minimum energy performance standard. So the Suranjaya Tenaga okay, mentioned that the minimum for the aircon uh, to perform at its best is at two star rating. Okay, so based on our EL calculation, here is the star rating. We got five star, four star, three star, two star, and one star. Okay, the higher is the better, the most efficiency. Okay. Okay, for the step number four, based on the ER energy efficiency rating that have been calculated, okay, we can tabulate out the three type of aircon, okay, based on the different EER, okay, ER rating. So, aircon 1 horsepower brand A, aircon 1 horsepower brand B, while aircon 1 horsepower brand C, okay. First thing first, you will calculate, you will tabulate it based on the, on the price, okay. Okay, you can see, of course, you can you can tabulate it from the cheapest to the highest. Okay, then you see the cooling capacity, meter per hour. So this cooling capacity, of course, because you are focusing on one horsepower aircon, so the cooling capacity will be the same. It is around the same. That let like, let's say in this case is nine thousand nine thousand five hundred. Okay, and the power consumption in board is that one. This one will be different because of because of the efficiency of the system. You can see that, uh, so that when we tabulated from the uh, low in efficiency to the highest efficient to the high efficiency, we can see that the lower efficiency giving the higher power consumption in what? Okay, okay. So to predict that uh, how how much electricity that we gonna be use when we buy this air condition? Okay. We can see the prediction, okay, while doing this some sort of calculation. For example, okay, the daily watt hour, okay, or in kilowatt hour, we can get the data based. Okay, this one, for example, uh, I did based on the eight hours usage, because as usually use a con for eight hours per day. Maybe you all use lower or more than that. Okay, so in this case, okay. Let's say you use eight hours, so so this per per watt, the times by eight. So for this one, the daily watt hour will be eight thousand two hundred and forty eight. Okay, while in kilowatt is eight point two. Okay, and so while the others is lesser kilowatt hour consumption per day because of the the lesser power consumption for that kind of air condition. Okay, so how about monthly kilowatt hour? Okay, for monthly kilowatt hour, here we can predict that uh, for a month, so aircon A consumption 246 kilowatt hour, aircon B 222, while aircon C only 180. Okay, the lesser consumption among all. For there is there is aircon number C. Okay, how about the monthly ringgit? Ah, uh, this one you have to times by the tariff. For energy in Malaysia, so, uh, kilowatt hour every kilowatt hour, the tariff is around ringgit Malaysia 0.218 per kilowatt hour. So which means that when we times it uh, with the kilowatt hour monthly, we can get the monthly monthly ringgit uh, amount for this air condition will be for 53 ringgit for the aircon brand A, 48 ringgit for aircon brand B, for 39 ringgit for aircon basic okay the more efficient the lesser you will, you will pay for the electricity bill okay not just that because we are lo we love the environment we don't want to let the negative impact from the greenhouse gases that is the co2 okay and then we also calculated the co2 emission ah, ah, what will be our prediction of co2 emission once we buy this kind of air condition we can see the higher is not efficient aircon. There is the yearly CO2 emission is about 2,205. While 
the most efficient one is just 1613 okay so this is kind of important data here that you will compare okay once you want to con what you want to buy and a condition in it okay so step number five okay step number five okay you have to compare the ecological bill saving potential uh, here once let's say you have three kind of echo the, 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 the retailer the econ seller recommend you to buy this kind three of econ and you don't know how to make a decision then you can make a decision based on the ecological bill saving potential okay because you know you can predict it already you have the prediction already then now we sort out based on STER rating okay the rating from the lowest to the highest then we see the econ price then you see the electrical bill monthly and yearly also so from that you can compare from the uh, 9.75 percent okay for for, for econ B okay uh, when you buy econ B you can get a electrical saving up to 9.75 that is up to 10 percent compared you buy a not efficient econ econ A uh, okay so when you buy the most efficient econ that is econ efficient brand C on on those three particular econ say so you can get the saving up to 30 percent that is 26.9 36.8 percent so the more the more efficient econ you buy the higher the saving okay okay I can summary that if you're buying econ C, the most efficient, okay, you get saving almost 30% on the ticket bill and the reduction of CO2 emission equivalent. So the same equivalent for kilowatt hour and CO2 emission is around 30% saving and reduction. And if you buy econ B, the less efficient one, saving over econ A, that is not efficient econ, is 9.75, almost 10% saving. Same goes to the reduction in CO2 equivalent. Okay? This is example for one horsepower econ. But the higher HP account that you that you buy will be saving will be higher. They want something. Let's say your your house is a component for 2.5 horsepower and also or higher than 25 horsepower, then trust me the saving will be higher. Okay, there will be more. Okay, so remember these five steps again, guys. I will say that there are five steps all together. Step number one. Choose wisely the aircon capacity for your room and space. Step number two, ask the seller aircon specification, data sheet on the manufacturer's rated cooling capacity and rated electrical power consumption. Step number three, calculate the aircon EER, energy efficiency rating. Step number four, compare the aircon EE rating. Okay, the higher is the better. The, the higher is the efficient, more efficient aircon. Okay, step number five, you compare the aircon electrical bill saving potential and also the CO2 reduction that you can get okay so last but not least from my word is that be smart in buying the air conditioning unit okay besides you can save the money while at the same time you save your earth guys okay so remember there is no planet B okay thanks guys that's it for today we we'll see you in another video so thank you see you again